Okay. What's this in there? What's in here? That's weird. What the heck? There's a hook hanging out here, like almost like a. What is in here? It's really. Hey, there's sharp things in here. It looks like a horror show. Dang. Okay. What? Oh, guys. This is gross. That is a locked trunk. What stuff inside? This is friggin' locker nose right here. Probably the craziest locker I've ever come across. All right, you guys, we are at Extra Space Storage. Today, I bought two. So right now, we're at the second location, the most recent one I bought. We're gonna hopefully clear out. I got my truck eh, somewhat empty, but not totally. The trick is gonna be see if I can fit everything in there in one trip, right? So I don't have to come out again. Let's go take a look at it, and you guys tell me. Do you think I'll fit all that? What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna be tight. All right. Full disclosure, okay, I got something to confess. I bought this locker mainly for one item because when they rolled the door open, this was sitting right inside, right there, front and center. And the funny thing is that that very morning, Jana and I were just talking about, uh, we need to get a jug to put all of our locker change in uh, because that's the seems to be the rage. You know, What the Hales just did a great video with it. And uh, we had all this change starting to stack up. It's really starting to pile up. And we said, uh, let's get one of these. And Jana said, well, maybe we can go buy one. I said, mm-mm-mm. We don't buy things in this house anymore. We find them in storage lockers. I mean, technically we buy storage lockers, but we don't go out and purchase items anymore. We find them. So uh, how ironic that then right there open the locker and there's one sitting right there i had to have it but i'll tell you what i didn't have is the shot of me opening the locker somehow my phone lost it it's been getting hot and it's been malfunctioning and i lost the scene but that's all right you'll see it soon enough we're going to show you everything else that was in the locker here we go all right you guys here's what we got i'm standing in the doorway this is what i saw well besides the jug i already took out but this is what i saw it looks clean it looks decent. It doesn't look fantastic. There's a box from Apple. I like that. There's some work boots. I like that. Those are usually 10 bucks each at the flea market if they have steel toe. Um, the jug, like I said, was worth something to me, even if it doesn't have more than, you know, three to five dollar value at the market. All right, let's get into it. Let's go further now than I was able to before and see a little different angle. What's that say? I don't know what that says. I guess it's in Spanish. All right. There's a little carved wood base right there. That's kind of nice. Oh, what's that? Something's covered up. Okay. Got a backpack, got a fan. The fan will sell right now. Um, yeah, that's steel toe. That's 10 bucks right there. We got two pairs, it's 20 bucks. Still a long ways to go. Someone has some big old feet. Big old feet. That's uh, that's nothing too special, but it's probably eight bucks. And some blankets. I don't know what Ottawa means. Ottawa. Okay. Apple. Ooh, apple. A little apple. These may also be apple. I'm not sure where they're getting all the apple boxes from, but I like that. Usually we get banana boxes. This time we get apple boxes. Da -da -da. Okay, spooky, weird Halloween stuff. Mm. That's not. That's a pot. Right. Why did I buy this? That's kind of what I ask myself every time I get into it. I say, why did I buy this? Why did I pull the trigger on this one? Hmm. All right. Well, let's see. There's something good in here. It does not look like it was picked over, right? It doesn't look like it was tossed and they left behind the garbage. They may have. Okay, they may have. They may just stacked all the stuff over here. Maybe there's stuff here and they got that out. But it doesn't have that look. It doesn't have that feel. Let's hope I'm right. We'll know soon. Okay. Let's well, start with what's here. So right here, whatever this is 
taped up. That's kind of curious, isn't it? Should we be saving this one for last? Hmm? I think it's documents. I might be wrong. Okay. I thought I smelled cigarettes. I don't want to smell cigarettes. Okay. There's a ton of Apple chargers. All right? Those are lightning ports right here. The Apple ones are way harder to find. I do find them, but they're not that common to find. At least eight of them in there. That's pretty good. It's a couple bucks each. What is this? This is some kind of uh, oh, a screenplay or something? I don't know. It's a book. It's in Spanish too, by the way. The screenplay is in Spanish. So is this. Alright, let's see what's in here. This is weird. this? I don't like the way this looks. Do you see what's in here? There's like some kind of like test tube. It's plastic, don't worry. Um, is this a chemistry set or is this like a drug making kit? I don't really want to touch this stuff. I think it's I actually I think this is pretty this is harmless that's mud in there <laughs> oh I think the worst I've seen too many lockers I've seen too many lockers I think the worst I think and it's like a drug makers toolkit or something it's just a kid's chemistry set all right we're in the clear what do we have here a whole bunch of photos boy this is all personal stuff here I mean this is not even worth anything Hello Kitty CD player. That's, that's a few bucks, five bucks probably. Okay, I'm not getting excited by that. I'm just saying that's what it is. Better than zero. Happy girls are the prettiest. Empty. It's a dollar or two. Okay. It's like our hot plate, right? New wave. This is actually a pretty decent one, I think. It's probably worth a few bucks. Okay, here we got a bunch of socks. I don't think any of them are stuffed with money. Doubt it. Toaster oven. Looks like it's seen better days. Alright, we got a couple of pillows. There's at least one stain on them. Those don't look so good. It's a graduation cap and a graduation gown. Those don't sell so good. That sounds good. I mean, even if it's a WD-40, that'd be good. Uh, but look, they cut that right there. That's a bank. Hmm, that's weird. Oh man, they glued that on. Son of a gun. They actually glued that on. That's what it looks like anyways. Um, we'll have to open that when we get home. There's a decent amount of stuff in here. That's got me kind of excited. Alright, what do we got here? Cheap little shoe. Airwalk, it says. We got a whole bunch of kitchen stuff. Like, a whole bunch of kitchen stuff. I'm not going to be going through all this right now. Dishes. Hopefully there's some decent knives. I see some knives right here, but look at that. Let's get in here a little deeper now. What's this? Oh man. A whole bunch more silverware. Belgique. That actually looks pretty decent. That looks pretty good actually. Belgique. I'm gonna have to look this brand up. We got some better. Ooh, what's this? All right, little pumas. Is that what those are? Yeah, pumas. Right here's like a big crystal. I have a feeling it's like a, a lamp or something. 
Yeah. There's the base of it right there. I sold. I, I, got, I had one of these recently. I don't think we sold it for much. Oh, it's ten dollars brand new. Okay, it's got a Ross sticker there. It's only ten dollars brand new. It's nice though. They're supposed to like relax you or something like that. They change colors as it goes through. I see a lot of towels. It doesn't smell dirty either. That's always a plus. Boy, there could be anything in here. I see a leather jacket right here. I see, it looks like room now. It's on a shirt. It's a nice coffee grinder. Really nice. Okay, some more pots of pans and maybe some uh, bowls. Okay. That's what's in there. What's in here? That's weird. What the heck? There's a hook hanging out here, like almost like a. What is in here? It's really. Hey, there's sharp things in here. It's really heavy. Oh my god, what is this? What in the heck? What is this? It looks like a horror show. What is going on right here? This hook thing is like sticking up. It's like a tetanus dream here. Nightmare, tetanus nightmare. What the heck? Is this a, decor a decoration piece? Like, supposed to look like Halloween or something? You got this knife with the broken tip just sitting in there. All these sharp things. Oh, jeez. It's like fish hooks or something right here. What is this thing meant to catch? Why is it so heavy? This looks really wicked. Like, really wicked. I'm scared to even pull the thing out. I'm gonna get my gloves on before I touch that thing. Okay, what do we got here? <laughs> that's kind of a neat piece. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, let's look inside of our first apple box. Okay, so we got some clothes. And first up, Inside Out. You know, you guys know how I just love Inside Out clothes, right? These are cheap clothes, cheap clothes. Cheap, 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 cheap. Got a pair of boots here. These are not even worn, are they? That's decent. They're not leather, though. I don't know what this is. Made China. Here's some leather boots. Okay, that's a little better. Those are only lightly worn. Penelope. Made in China. They had cheap tasting clothes, but at least they're clean and only lightly used. What's this? What? The last thing that I saw wrapped in aluminum foil was tortillas I just ate at this restaurant down the street. This is not, ah, oh, look at that. It's more silverware. More silverware, whole nother silverware set. They had a lot of silverware. All right, you guys, check this out. This is kind of cool. This Chevy, this old Chevy. And um, it looks to me like Cuba. And that's interesting because the guy, the, the people in the photos actually look like they might be Cuban. And uh, a lot of the photos are in like tropical places. Looks like it could be Cuba. So, I don't know. Um, it's a, little, a lot of metal art in here, so I see a, a sticker in here from Ross for some decoration. It looks like this is just all different sorts of like home decor. I'm not going to take it all out. A lot of wall pieces, but I'm just wondering if he's from Cuba, if this piece over here, if this thing has to do with some sort of, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about? Voodoo, hoodoo stuff? I don't know. It definitely looks wicked. Oh, what? And the lights go out. Luckily, the button's right outside my unit here. Ooh, that was creepy. All right, now this thing starts to make a little bit more 
sense, doesn't it? I thought it was like Halloween. Why is there cobwebs all over it? What the heck? Dang. Okay, what? Oh, guys. This is gross. I lifted that skull. Well, it's a fake. Okay. I lifted that up. That's a freaking bird's head right there. With shells. This is some sort of a horn. What is going on here? What is this? This is some kind of like... This was covered up too, wasn't it? And I uncovered it. This is some sort of like... I don't know. Voodoo, weird black magic type ritual stuff isn't it that's hecka weird hecka creepy this is this is <laughs> this is one of the weirdest lockers i've ever found right here this is some weird stuff let's hope that they were into some gold too that'd be cool all right this is a weird weird locker so far weird locker we got purses 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 That'd be nice if that was real. A bedpan. Lovely. Alright, come on and check this out. Okay. I don't know what that is. Some sort of uh, L formulario. So the formula. Okay, some kind of walk fit orthodontics. Shoe inserts. Yeah, this feels like binder books. Yup. I see a lot of garbage in this unit. That. Empty. It's a car manual. 2012 Accord. User's manual, that's five bucks. A couple cheap watches, I think. A luggage scale right there. That's cool. Only people who travel a lot would need one of those. All right, let's check out what... You gotta be kidding me. All right, let's check out what's in this suitcase right here. There's quite a few suitcases in here. I got a guy at Stockton that would buy these off me, but unfortunately for him, he's not going to Stockton. He's going somewhere else. Conquered, probably. Stuff clothes. Okay. I don't really have a good flat surface to work with here, so Adidas, that's pretty sweet. That's ten bucks right there. Ten bucks at least. Okay, let's drop it all on the floor. That's that'll work too. C B, I don't know, that's a good good jacket though. Managed facility solutions looks like this is his job. He had a bunch of work shirts in here. Maybe these ones are also for the work. I don't know, those are decent jackets, though. He's got some nice clothes here. These are a little bit decent. Lacoste, oh yeah. That's cool. Nice sweater. It's just not sweater sweater weather right now. It really isn't. And this is nice right here. Really nice. That's styling right there. Ooh. Okay, another nice sweater. What is this right here? That is really cool. It's like a faux leather. It looks like a bomber jacket almost. It's really soft inside. Zara Man. That cannot be a double XL. That's too tight. Come on. I'm not a triple XL. Not a bad looking jacket though. That'll sell. Ooh, there was some funky heels right there. Mm -mm -mm. Gloves. And those, man, those are some, that's some lifts right there. All right, next box. Next box, more home, for home furnishings. This one's a little bit nicer. That's pretty cool right here. Shoot, I put that in my house. That's, that's pretty sweet. Dominoes. Looks like there's some missing. Big old vase. Another vase. 
with a bunch of wine corks inside. Oh, and some pennies. That one's pretty. That one's actually really nice. Oh, that's Ikea, no wonder. He's got this stuff. Ooh, that's, that's really nice. Look at that. It's made in China, but it still is nice, though. Cool. That's cool. Ross. Nine bucks. Not terribly expensive stuff. I don't think this person had terribly a lot of money, but decent sellable items. Hmm. Here's one of those little mixing things. A book for something. Looks like recipes. Hmm. That don't look good, right? Recipe stuff? What's this? What is this? What is this? Guys, what the heck is this? There's a locked trunk. What stuff inside? What? What? What would they be locking up? Oh, I can almost barely see any of it. You know how I do. We're, we're gonna save that for the last. Yeah. All right. I see some weird stuff in here. You guys getting this? Look at this. I don't even know if I want to know what's in here. I see something weird in there, though. And I forgot my gloves at the car again. Durr. Okay. That one smells funky in there. That one smells funky. Like moldy. I can only guess what's in there. That looks nasty, though. Whatever it is. I can't imagine it's good. Alright, so we've got some sort of a tray thing here. Pretty nice, but I don't know what it's for. Okay, you got this thing. Looks like a cigar holder. That's what it is. It smells ashy, but uh, it's actually pretty nice. Got a whole bunch of these beads. Got this thing. Is that a goat? A goat skull. That's weird. Alright. What's in here? Should I look? <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's kind of like berries or something. They're not rocks, they're nuts or something. I don't know. This is nuts, alright. This is friggin' locker nuts right here. This is the craziest, probably the craziest locker I've ever come across. What is in here? I don't even know if I want to find out. This is some serious, like, I don't know, what is it called? Santa Ria or whatever? Like, weird South American, maybe it's Cuban, like, voodoo, black magic type stuff. So, uh, what is this? What is that? There's another one in here, too. What is that? It feels like pottery? I don't know. You know, it feels like it's ceramic, but I really can't even tell. We have a bunch of weird stuff in here, you guys. I don't, I feel like I don't even want to know what's in here. I just want to dump it. But that doesn't make good video, does it? Sort of straw or hay or something, twine of some sort, some fabric. I don't really want to get into it too much. Yeah, I don't know. Weird stuff. Okay. 
There's some something in here. And I am gonna to want to get to the bottom of that. It's heavy too. Whatever's in there. This thing is heavy. Weird, creepy, spooky. This one's got quite the resume going for it, doesn't it? I told you before, at the end of one of the previous videos, I don't even really have words for how to describe this locker. It is insane. So this is part one, we're gonna show you part two, more good stuff coming out, and then uh, we'll get into the bottom of what's inside both the WD-40 canister, you can hear a change in there, and the lock trunk. The lock trunk's very mysterious. So we're gonna get the, those open and show you what's inside. All right, in the meantime, you guys, Thumbs up if you like this sort of thing, all right? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification button so you'll be alerted when part two comes out, which will probably be very soon, all right? Thanks, you guys, for watching. Until next time, good luck to you, God bless you, and we'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. All right, this is kind of interesting. I'm trying to figure out what some of the markings on the box meant. One word came up as this is a suggested. It was not Spanish, it was Yoruba. And this word translates to guide in English. But Yoruba, this is very interesting. I'm gonna look at that closer in the next episode.